Hey, what's up everyone? This is your boy, 1JGW. I'm sitting here at Fred Cummings uh, Motorsports here in Bakersfield, California, where we're getting ready to uh, turn in the Triumph here. We're not turning it in, we're just taking it in for the uh, 500 mile uh, service. So that way we can get it all serviced and uh, get that new oil in there. And then we can be really ready to roll, man, ready to go out on some real rides. So anyway, we're gonna stop off in here and let our boys here at Fred Cummings take care of it. And um, we'll let you know how it goes. Hey, um, Aaron, um, we're, we're doing this service for uh, my son, Jaden. Man, tell okay. us what, what's gonna be going on here with this uh, first Hey, what's up, Jaden? Uh, so we're gonna uh, do the six, uh, 675R 500 mile service here. Um, there's a few things that we're gonna go over. This is a pretty big service uh, since it's the break-in service. Uh, so just a, a few of the main things we're gonna go over here is uh, we're gonna replace engine oil, replace your oil filter here, uh, check um, the ECM for you know stored codes and stuff like that. We're gonna go ahead, uh, one of the biggest things is gonna be uh, lube and adjusting your chain, make sure it's all set for you. Uh, check your tire pressure, the forks and everything, and uh, yeah, get some fresh fluids in there. It's gonna be great, yeah, all right. excited for you. I heard that anything um, uh, that he, he needs to be careful on after 500 miles, or can you kind of open it up a little bit? At this it up point, a bit? yeah, at this point, um, you know, the first oil service is going to be done, so you're going to be able to get on it and have some fun. All right, yeah. I heard that. And just FYI, um, I never went over um, maybe 6,000 RPMs, maybe once. <laughs> But other than that, no, I, I was that. I was cool. I was yeah. cool with it. But I, I can't I can't you know promise you anything now after this. So right. uh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna get off the truck, man, and we're gonna get it on into uh, into the shop and let these guys go to work. Hey, right. thanks so much, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Take it easy, man. All right, we got Aaron and uh, Connor here, about to take uh, Day Day. It's the name of the bike. About to take Day Day off the truck here and and get it going and get it in the shop. So we're gonna let these guys go to work here. And you notice I locked the handlebars, and I only did that because oh, I kept no. it in my oh, truck yeah. overnight. Oh yeah, that's, you know, that's and fine, man. So that's okay to, can I go to LA with it like it, or should I straighten it up? No, the way you have it strapped in is perfectly fine. It wasn't going anywhere. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> grab As Cooper takes the uh, Daytona 675R into the shop, I walk into the shop and what do I see? Another Daytona 675R. But this one's a 2016. Let's take a look at this one. All right, we're looking at a 2016 Triumph Daytona 675R. It's used, um, but it's got a lot of great features on it. So let me just go over some things. We've got our little tank grips right here um, this is some good stuff here see the mirrors were changed on here so I got the little uh, you know racing style mirrors on the, uh, the, the grips there and uh, nice grips by the way and check out the uh, the levers uh, fully adjustable levers here that's really nice really cool notice that the mirrors are, are gone here obviously and they've uh, got the RNG replacement there to cover it up uh, pretty cool looking there um, the bike is pretty much the same as the 2017 um, Brembo brakes, you know, Allen's uh, suspension. It looks real good, but uh, check it out on the back side here. This is really cool here. This is kind of integrated turn signals are, on, are, are right here. So you got your right turn, left turn, and your brake light integrated in there. Uh, the license plate is recessed in the back a little bit. Uh, we've got the, uh, the little uh, pegs here so you can uh, you know, lift that back tire up off the ground. So pretty good stuff here. And then we got a a hell of a pipe on here so uh, this exhaust is, uh, is pretty flashy pretty snazzy uh, makes that whistle sound even better so uh, why am I looking at it well because man I might I might have to take this one home so uh, to hang with, uh, with uh, Jaden on his ride so Jay uh, look out man this may be one we're gonna be two well, we're gonna try it.
Hey, what's going on, people? This is uh, me, one JGW, coming back at you one more time. Hey, man, I'm back already at Fred Cummings uh, Mor- Motorsports. They uh, took in uh, the Triumph Daytona 675R uh, yesterday and told me that uh, they were going to uh, not be able to get to it until Saturday. Um, but for whatever reason, they were able to get to it, and um, I'm picking it up 24 hours later. I'm about to go get this uh, ride, and you know I'm gonna get on it a little bit. Just you know, gotta test it out. You know, just just, just a little bit. But um, we're gonna pick it up and uh, talk to these guys about the service and what they did, and um, we're gonna make it happen. So uh, let's get on into Fred Cummings and talk to these uh, good guys over here, and uh, and make sure we thank them for uh, fast service here. Dennis, Dennis man, yeah. tell me uh, what what do we got going with this uh, 2017? So uh, perform the 500 mile service uh, in. So what Triumph wants done with it. Okay. That's a lot of really basic stuff. Uh, engine oil and filter all using Triumph OEM parts. Okay. Clean lube and adjust the chain. Uh, basically check over everything. There are a couple of real specific things that need to get done to the bike. Okay. Uh, the butterfly valve and the exhaust needs a oh. fine-tune adjustment. So we got okay. that adjusted for you. That probably won't go out again to maybe six or seven thousand miles. Okay, and and how do you will, it, will you be able to hear it kind of sounding different or? Well, uh, you'll get a check engine light. Oh, okay, it'll come yeah, on and, and then you'll come on. You, typically, if you turn the ignition on, you'll uh-huh. hear it click. You know, oh, right. You'll hear that little yeah, yeah, that's clicking. what that is. Okay. It'll, it'll keep going a couple more times. Okay. Before it realizes I'm out of adjustment. Okay. But then you just bring it back to us. We'll adjust it. Okay. Uh, probably just take care of you. All right. Because it's something that should last from service to service. But okay. Occasionally it doesn't. It might come on in between. Gotcha. It's not, not anything to worry about. But okay. Yeah, the bike's uh, uh, all good to go. Um, you're in good hands. I ride a Daytona myself. So, all right. Um, I, I have a 14, and I know these bikes inside now. So. Wow. In good hands, right? I heard that, man. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks all cleaned up too. Oh yeah. yeah I can't give it back to you here. Yeah. yeah. All right. I heard that. Was well, looking clean. Yeah. Well, folks, there you have it. We got the uh, 2017 Triumph 675R Daytona. It's uh, in the back of the truck here. So we're about to uh, get it home. Got the Fred Cummings Motorsports uh, the little uh, license plate frame there. We're going to take care of that, and we're going to make sure that we show them some love. Um, they, should, they sure did do a good job on getting the bike to me, getting it back in a, in a, in a, in a very fast amount of time. Um, and uh, it's, it's good to know that one of the mechanics in the shop is a uh, Daytona rider himself. So he kind of really knows a lot about the bike and what it's about and what it needs. So uh, one last look before we get on the road. Let's go ride. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, 1JGW. Uh, back at it again with this uh, video vlog for uh, my son, Jaden, and his uh, 2017 Triumph Daytona 675R. Uh, this is the, uh, the Triumph that we rode last week in the last episode, and uh, this is a 1967 uh, Bobber Bonneville with a 1963 uh, Triumph engine, 650 by the way. Um, it is for sale, so uh, you know, hit me up and uh, I'll give you the info if you're, if you're interested. But we've uh, we had our fun with that one, so now it's time to go ahead and take the 2017 Daytona for a real ride. Let's go. So here it is, fresh out the shop and uh, ready to roll. And they cleaned her up for us, got her nice and shiny. Microfiber cloths, of course, make sure it's all cleaned up. And uh, um, the rev limiter, is uh, there's no limit on it now. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and rev it up a little bit and see how, see how it goes. Matter of fact, um, let me go ahead and put this on pause and we'll rev it up one time for you. Hold on. Oh, 
Right, let's see how this bad boy sounds at about 10,000 RPMs here. Oh yes, I think we're ready. We're ready to roll. Let's put on some riding gear. Let's make this happen. Well, I know everyone is looking forward to seeing the Triumph Daytona 675R on the road, but we are out of time for this episode. Besides, I want to leave the streets of Bakersfield and take this Triumph Daytona 675R to more of a track style environment and get a true feel of how this bike handles. So I'm going to pack up my gear and hit the road. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And give me your thoughts of this content on the 2017 Triumph Daytona 675R. Ride safe, everyone. Peace.